or mga posibleng kukunin dyan. Kasi of course, yung topics, yung distribution under sa CLJ, so sa introduction to criminal justice system, five questions yung posibleng lalabas dyan. Sa human rights education, five questions. Sa criminal law book one, merong 20 questions. Sa book two, we have 35 questions. And of course, yung uh, evidence, merong 17. Yung uh, procedure and court testimony, merong 18 possible questions. A total of 100 questions. So kung hindi yung malalaman, kung hindi yung titingnan, sa TUS, hindi nyo malalaman kung ano yung subject area or ano yung topics na dapat ninyong pagtuunan ng mas maraming uh, pansin. Of course, mas maraming effort. So halimbawa dito sa CLJ, kung titingnan natin, pinakamaraming tanong manggagaling dito sa tinatawag natin na criminal law book 2. Okay? Kasi diba 20% yung percentage or yung weight of distribution ng criminal law book 2 natin. So 100 questions, out of 100 questions, merong 35 na lalabas dyan sa criminal law book 2 natin. Of course, uh, nakahati yan sa remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. So ito yung tinatawag natin na subtopics. Again, ang tawag natin dito, subtopics kung saan ito yung dapat mafamiliarize kayo or yan yung magiging guiding yung kung nabasa nyo na yan or na-tackle or na-encounter nyo yung mga topics and specific terms na nabanggit dyan. So specific, specifically number one yung subtopics na dapat i-discuss dito sa criminal law book 2. So number one, recall, use, and compare the elements. Take note ha, sinabi niya elements and principles of crimes against national security. Ibig sabihin, yung uh, title one, fundamental laws of the state, crimes against public order, crimes against personal liberty and security. So dapat, alamin mo, ma-recall mo or ma-retrieve mo, magamit mo yon in application, and of course, ma-compare mo yung tinatawag natin na elements of every criminality or crime na nakalagay doon sa book 2 natin. Uh, second, recall, compare, and use, same as well, yung elements and principles of crimes against persons, crimes against property, chastity, civil status of person, honor, and quasi-offenses. So, titignan ninyo, so more on, nakafocus siya doon sa 14 uh, titles of the revised penal code natin from Title 1 hanggang sa Title 14 natin. So, ang importante doon, ma-recall mo, ma-apply mo yung mga specific felonies doon. Then, of course, ma-compare mo yung mga specific elements niya para hindi ka magkamali. So, further, dito sa third, subtopics na dapat mong ma-memorize or dapat mong ma-familiarize and ma-master sa so subject na Criminal Law Book 2. Recall the Punishable Acts, okay? Special Penal Laws, ibig sabihin, yung mga Republic Acts, ano ba, yung Republic Act 9165. So, dapat alam mo yung mga Special Penal Laws na yun, but not limited to firearms, okay? Human Trafficking, Carnapping, Anti-Terrorism, yung bago, Anti-Cybercrime Law, Hazing, Fencing, Money Laundering, Torture, and others. So, take note, Ma maraming nagsasabi na hindi daw sinusunod yung tinatawag natin na TOS. Kasi daw merong iba na mga topics or terms na hindi lumalabas. Okay, take note cast, nakalagay dyan specifically sa ating uh, TOS, nakalagay and others. Okay, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi nalagay dito, hindi yan lalabas. Okay, naka-specific naman dyan and others. So meaning may possible na aside sa mga nabanggit dito na special laws or mga special penal laws, lalabas, may lalabas at lalabas dyan. Okay, na hindi nyo napag-aralan o hindi nabanggit. So dapat... You, you study more, you read more uh, articles, laws, and uh, regulations pertaining to our laws in the country. So, yun yung importance ng TOS. Kung hindi mo pala nakita dito yung 14 classifications, kung ang alam mo lang yung uh, pangalan o yung title lang ng crime, hindi mo alam yung application, hindi mo kaya makompare. Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng magamit o hindi mo pwedeng ma-apply. Then yung elements, hindi, mo, hindi ka nag-focus sa elements, medyo hindi ka masyadong uh, komportable or hindi ka masyadong papasa sa board exam. Kasi nga, dapat yung TUS, it will serve as your guide. Okay? Ano ba? Ako na lecturer. So, titingnan ko yung TUS kung na-explain ko na ba or na-master na ba ng students ko yung tinatawag natin. Halimbawa, yung Title 1, yung Crimes Against National Security, hanggang Title 14, yung quasi-offenses natin, yung mga quasi-crimes na tinatawag natin. Na-explain ko na ba sa kanila what are special laws yun, na kailangan pertaining to firearms and other special penal laws. So, ganun ka importance ang tinatawag natin na TOS. Kasi kapag hindi mo tinignan yan, hindi mo malalaman na ganun pala yung dapat na topics na i-discuss sa students. Kasi baka yung dinidiscuss mo is ma may shadong malayo na sa kapukuhanan. Hindi na siya lalabas sa board exam. So, I hope nabigyan nyo kayo ng uh, overall background or overall view ng tinatawag natin na table of specifications. Again, ang purpose ng table of specification is what they call the uh, it will serve as a guide for every examiner. And wait. Lang.